Today's show begins in Texas with a young man who almost had his football career taken away from him. Fortunately, he's now healthy and making his case as the top defensive prospect in his class. That's this week's five-star feature. Athletes know that as great as sports are, they can be taken away from you in an instant. Maybe it's an injury in a game, or maybe something happens off the field. For David Hicks Jr., there was a brief moment this past spring when that fear set in. He was hanging out with some friends when somebody with a gun opened fire on the crowd and a bullet hit David in the leg. Well, I was at a party and we were just waiting outside and then just people just started shooting into the crowd and I just tried to run away and I got shot in the back of the leg. So my friend just drove me all the way down to the hospital. He picked me up, put me in the chair and everything just went black. And I just heard a voice that said, you gonna be okay? Heart drop. Just the, the fear in his friend's voice when they called me when the things happened. You know, it's, you know, you hear it and it's just, wait, what? You know, they, no, no. You know, at first it's denial and, and then once you get there, man, I think it's one of the scariest moments in your life. It, was, it really made you sit back and think, you know, of course, football is great, but life is even bigger. Fortunately for Hicks, his injury turned out to be relatively minor. The bullet went right through his leg without hitting any bones or major arteries, and he was able to resume normal activities in less than a month. The best thing I can explain to you is like Wolverine. <laughs> you know, it was, it was, he was fortunate enough to be blessed that a bullet went straight through his leg, and a couple of inches to the left, you know, he hits an artery, and he, you know, he bleeds out. You know, a couple, a couple more inches, you know, even if it doesn't already he breaks his leg. And, you know, luckily, you know, I, I tell him, you know, you got those fat legs, you know, he just went through all fatty tissue. So, you know, he got really, really lucky. Within a week, he's jogging up and down the stairs at the house. Two weeks later, he's enrolled at Peyto. And two weeks after that, he's 100% in offseason. It was a little bit of fear that creeped in. Uh, I guess if it really happened to anybody at that point, it was a little bit of fear, but I was a little bit scared. Um, but I knew everything was going to be okay because I knew God had my back no matter what. So You know, I think for him it was more of getting his confidence back to let him know that he still has it. David, who also goes by DJ, is now back to 100%. And at his best, he's as good as any recruit in the country. He's ranked among the top 10 prospects in the nation, and 24-7 sports rates him as the number one defensive lineman for 2023. I just love being in the trenches. This is where you are, it's the where nitty and gritty you get down at, you know? You get to use your hands and you get to be violent. It's just all four quarters just being violent, being aggressive as strong as possible. He's learned a lot about hard work from his father who played collegiately at Grambling State and also spent some time in the NFL and Arena Football League. He was hired as the defensive coordinator at Katie Pato High School near Houston, and he's now serving as the interim head coach. I really got into sports because of my dad. My dad, he played at Grambling State, and I grew up watching him and wanted to be like him. I always heard how good he was and stuff like that and how he played in the NFL. So I always wanted to be as good as possible at sports, and I really got into sports at a young age, maybe about Five years old, I started playing like flag football, baseball, soccer, and stuff like that. Me and my dad are like really tight. Like I, I love my dad. He, I, I know he always got my back. So I always know like in the end of the day, he's gonna have the best lookout for me. And and it's on the field. We focus on the field. It doesn't really go outside the field really. We take it back to the house. It'll be watching film or something. We always just want to get better. Oh, his work ethic is second to none. Second to none. You know, I always tell him, you know, be the hardest working person in the room. Don't ever let anybody outwork you. And that's what he lived by every day, you know, even in the classroom and on the football field. Even during COVID, we work out two times a week. And it went from, you know, as a kid, it went from, hey, David, do you want to uh, go work out to him knocking on my door at, you know, six o'clock in the morning? Hey, are we working out today? You know, so he, nobody's going to outwork him. He's probably the hardest working kid I've ever been around. Peyto is DJ's third high school. His father's changed jobs a few times over the past few years, and DJ has followed him each time. While he'll only be here for a year, he's excited to spend his senior season at Peyto, which won a state championship at the 5A level last year, and the Panthers are now stepping up to 6A, the highest classification in Texas.
It's truly exciting because I'm playing with a lot of great players, a lot of good leaders too. They are really shaping me into being a better player and a better person. So it's really exciting to get to learn from just so many different people. We're surrounded by so many great kids, you know, not only talented, but just so great kids. You know, the whole KDISD school district as a whole is just one of the best, you know, one of the best in the state. This is a legendary district in total. You know, we're very excited, very excited to move on. Just a few weeks ago, DJ announced a verbal commitment to Texas A&M. He'll join an Aggie defensive line that is loaded with young talent. Really the coaching staff and really how good people they are there, and especially the Aggie network and how I wanted to stay home, and it's really close to home. It's like an hour and a half away, so there's really big reasons. Texas A&M is not only getting a great player, but also a young man who cares about his teammates above all else. Because while he hopes to play football for a long time, he knows there are things more important than sports things that last much longer. I try to stay as humble as possible because the journey's not done. I'm only in high school. I haven't reached college yet, so I still got a lot of ways to go, so I always try to stay humble and learn. You know, every coach has that, that once-in-a-lifetime player that, you know, you always sit back and think about and be like, man, that, that was the kid, you know, that was that one kid that you actually got a chance to coach, and, you know, I'm just blessed and fortunate enough to say that it's my kid. <laughs> Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.